All right, so let's have some fun here. So here's what we're gonna be doing. I had a really popular system in the previous 2022 compounding course before I released the update at the beginning of 2023. It was a system where you start a really small account and you essentially try to 10 exit. And you do this by risking 40% per trade to make 50% gain. Now this content is still included at the end of the course. And you can access it by scrolling down to the end of the course. It's all there. You'll see I have a, a compounding system, the original support resistance one that uses stop losses as well as the momentum system. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a hybrid of that system and we're going to essentially do it here in backtesting. I'm not going to use random.org because what we're going to be doing is we're going to backtest a little bit different just to give you guys a little open-minded view of the stuff you could do. We're going to go to a bunch of different pairs one by one and we're just going to take one random trade on each pair using the system and then um then we're just we're essentially just going to try to take an account we'll start it at 1000 and we'll try to get it to 10,000 over the course of a few trades what we're going to be doing is we're going to be risking 50 percent per trade to make 50 percent gain per trade if we win if we lose we lose half the account if we win you know we make 50 percent on the account and we're just going to take we're going to go to a random pair, scroll to a random point, click start, and we'll take the first trade we find, support resistance, and then if it wins, it wins, if it loses, it loses, whatever we do, after that trade's over, we'll go to another pair, and then we'll see the same thing over and over again. So let's start, let's start with just your USD since it's convenient here. The four hour chart, I'm going to scroll back to a random point, hit the replay tool, and I'll bring the chart up here. All right, cool. Let's get started. So this system uses stop losses, one to one risk to reward ratio, 50% risk per trade. You have to be doing this on a broker that allows you to have one to 500 leverage, otherwise it won't work. Usually won't work. Maybe if you're swing trading, it will. All we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be finding clear support resistance zones. We're gonna sell if it's at resistance or we're gonna buy if it's at support with a one to one risk reward ratio. So here's the first trade when it comes to resistance. So we sell as soon as it gets into the resistance. We have a stop loss that's about you know just like a good way above the resistance you don't want it too tight or too far and you have a one-to-one -one target this looks like it would have hit the one-to-one -one target like immediately so that's the first winner so 1000 times 1 1.5 so we make 50 percent and make 500 bucks now we'll go find another random pair let's do a usd cad so we'll go here to the fxcm one scroll to a random point Where's the, here it is. We'll start here, All right, now let's look and see. There's a support zone here, and there's a resistance zone above price. Let's kind of see if, it, um, somewhere up here, we'll see if it gets there. We'll probably use that one, but we'll see if it gets there. I think this zone might break just because it's likely to fall through, but you know what we can do? We can get into the trade, we'll risk 50% with a bigger invalidation. And if it starts to break, or it looks like it's gonna break, then we can just get out. We'll just get out early. One to one, we'll just put it like right here. Um, all right, sweet, so it's 50% risk for 50% gain. Let's click slowly through the candles. So it tries to break below, let's see if there's a follow through. If it start, starts falling back though, this might end up not working out. Okay, yeah, I didn't think that would actually work, um, but it works. It's just, what is this? A simple buy at a clear support zone. You don't want to be using shit like this right here, where it's like kind of support, but then it goes through it, but then it swipes up and down, but then it's kind of resistance again. You don't want to use shit like that. Just draw the clear zones where it's been bouncing really big in the past. I have so many clients who've gotten profitable just trading this system, and it still works. Um, this is actually one of the things I'm tracking. Um, you guys were not meant to see this, but I'll just I accidentally click that instead of calculator. But essentially, I'm growing an account from 5K and I'm trying to get it to 25K. I've already taken the first two trades this week on it, and it's using this exact system that I'm teaching you here in this video. I need to get two more trades on it to get close to the target. I don't know if I'll hit 25K, but I might. We'll have to see. We'll have to see. I've already tried this one time, and I, I pretty much blew the account. I started a 5K account. I lost 4K. I lost the first two trades. But um, with this one, I've won the next two trades, and the account's now to like... 12k or something so we'll see how this goes but it's using this exact system so we won the next trade so we'll do 1500 times 1.5 all right so now we pretty much double the account 
Now let's go find another random pair. Let's do a DVP CHF. We'll go to the FXCM chart. Let's scroll back to a random point. I'll click remove all drawings just in case there's anything there. We'll just start it like right here. Alright, sweet. So we've got some support resistances to play with. You guys see them on the four hour right here. You can do this on the one hour, you can do it on the daily. One hour is how I taught it in the course, but um it it's you can use any time frame you want. Kind of depends on your time constraints. If you don't have a lot of time to look at charts, use the daily or four hour. If you're able to kind of manage charts throughout the day, like you know, if you get alerts, you're able to use them to do stuff, then you can trade like on the one hour. So this would have been a good buy right here. So buy right here, invalidation just below, and a one-to-one -one target, and this one would have stopped out. So it would have lost like 50%. So we'll do times 0.5. So back down to like 1K, and I will find the next pair. Let's do like NJ. So New Zealand dollar JPY. I'm going to scroll back. Random point, hit the replay, and then we'll go. Real straightforward, right? Just support resistance zones, that's it. I really don't see anything right here. Looks like I've got some zones from back in the day. Chart effects, all these chart artifacts on the back. I'll just remove all the drawings. We'll use that zone here. I really don't see a clean resistance. This one looks kind of scratchy, latchy, patchy, tatchy. Yeah, I don't really see that. It's it looks like it's trying to respect it. We'll just I'll tell you what. We'll use these highs up here. This one looks like it's a little bit more reliable. So we did come down here to this support. So that's a good one. So we'll buy right here. Our target can go pretty much at that previous low, and so our invalidation would be like just a one to one. We'll just let this play out and see if it works. All right, so that one worked. So, so this one was a 50% gain, so we're back to where we were at. Times 1.5. You need to keep in mind when you're doing this, you need to make sure it's a very low starting balance. Very low starting balance. Because you can screw things up real quick. Let's do like EuroCAD FXCM. Scroll back to a random point. Let me make sure all my drawings are removed. And we will go right here. Sweet, we're already near a resistance zone. And if it goes down, we'll find the next support. Here we go. Right, the next support right there. So this is a clear support. It would also be nice if we could get down here. So I will tell you kids what. I will tell you boys and girls what. Let's uh, let's go for a long trade when it gets down here into the zone. We'll put an invalidation nice and clear. Just in case it bounces at this next zone, we might be able to get out of break even. That means our target would have to be uh, all the way up there. So. Okay, we got there. And, and then this would probably be setting up for a resistance trade too. Obviously, we'll go and trade something else. But yeah, it would have bounced there too. So that could have been a second trade. That's the cool part about this system is it's just support resistance bounces. How hard does it need to be, right? So this times 1.5. So we've made back, we've got back to the original, you know, a little bit past where we were at, 2,500 now. Took that one trade. When you lose one trade risking 50%, it's essentially going to take you about two trades to get back what you lost. So that means if you just win almost every single trade, you'll be fine. What should we use? Let's use USD CHF there on the bottom to make sure that these charts are nice and cleaned off. We're going to clean it with some soft soap, with some palm olive, with some dial, with some, uh, some Axe body wash. So off the bat, I don't really see any clear zones here. So let's just... Uh, I'm not seeing too many support or resistance zones here, mate. I'm just waiting, mate. Here we go. Wait, 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 wait. Here we go. We might see some selling pressure in there. Here we go. 
So I will enter a cell right here and I'll have an invalidation. Yeah, that'll be nice. That'll be hard to hit the invalidation. It'll have to have a huge triumphant move past this zone. And if that happens, you know, we get boned. It's whatever. If not, then it bounces. We'll watch it candle by candle in case it starts to break above. Oh, she came within like a few pips. Oh, this is painful. Oh, it's probably going to go up now. Click it candle by candle just so we can. Do not expect this to work out. Did that technically hit? Yep, we will call that a winner, that hit. And if not, it would have filled in the next two four hour candles. Yeah, I didn't expect this one to work out. That's the cool thing, if you're using clear zones, you don't really have to do much. You, know, you just kinda, kinda just let it do whatever it does, you know? You just let it kinda play out, you know? And it works or it doesn't. So now we're at 3,800. All right, let's get this, this B this B I T this bit just get, try not to curse too much on these videos you know because it needs you know there's some people most of y'all are cool but I know there's gonna be some people who are just like I paid for this course and Nick Sean was just cursing the whole course he has such a potty mouth talking about trading these B I T C H's all right so we'll go right here I feel like I saw already what happened so let's go back further all right. Yeah, I need to be somewhat professional here, so uh, I'll try not to curse as much. But you know, pardon me if I slip. I'm, I'm just a normal person, just like y'all, and everybody curses with people they're comfortable with. And when I say everybody, I mean like ninety-five percent of people. <laughs> Some people legitimately just don't curse, but most people do curse. Especially with the people they're comfortable with. I'm comfortable with you all, so I don't mind it. So we could use this zone. Problem is, is there hasn't really been a lot of relevance established here. It kind of zipped up through it there. Didn't really come all the way back to it there. It kind of paused before that. Pushed up. I think it'll bounce here, but not enough to where I'd take a trade. Yeah, you see how it dove through? We could have a new zone setting up here, though, so let's take a look at this here. If, let's see if this can keep going down. Yeah, okay. So I'm going to take a trade here. Oh, the big invalidation zone. Just in case it starts to break, we can just get out early. Target there at the previous lows. Inval will be right here. This is what sucks is if you don't get good entries, you get crap like this where your, your, your trade could have been like that. Nice and pretty, right? You get all the ladies doing that. And if you're a lady, you're going to get all the boys. But if you're a lady, you get you probably get all the boys anyway because that's the way society works. But, you know, you can get a lot of gold by just entering right at the zone. This, you know, you get a little bit more trashy of an entry. It's still worked out here, but that's normally more. It, it's usually best if you just do it like that and enter just at right at the zone. Don't worry about everyone's like arguing like, but there's no rejection. There's no Japanese wagyu beef candlestick pattern. Just forget it. It's you know big deal. Whatever. If it's gonna bounce into big enough zone, it'll bounce. And if not, just you know go cry. You know you can blow your account. It's fine. It's a small account. Let's let it go. Got this 1k account to almost 6k. I think we're like, how, much, how far are we along? We're probably like two trades from the growth target. So we'll go find some more stuff to have fun with. NZD Cat, have we done this yet? <laughs> you guys have seen what I'm waiting for. We have the price to get to this resistance, and I'm going to be selling. Just why? Because it's the price bounced through in the past. I don't know. What if it does it again? Probably, maybe. Let's, uh, let's go to the Orlando one, the New Zealand Arcad FXCM. Oh yeah, we gotta scroll back in time. Okay. 
All right, so we've got NZD CAD right here. Let's just wait for it to come into one of these zones. Then we can trade some trades. This one, the fact that it had gone sideways and didn't take off upwards makes me a little bit more scared to take the trade when it gets back there, just because it didn't really make any higher highs. Um, that one would have been, actually it wouldn't really established at that time. This this second one right here would have been nice, because then you could have had an invalidation, you know, somewhere below like that, and it, yeah, it would have hit, like one to one. Um, what I'd be looking for now, brothers and sisters of the, of the Jedi Court, is for a break every test here, because it's still a support resistance trade. If not, we just wait for it to get to the next support. Then when it, oh, it kind of already got there, but it didn't really go deep enough for me. I like to get those deep pumps. I like those deep thrusts into the zone, where it just thrusts, you know, nice and deep. Just get deep up in there. I just love to get deep when I'm trading, when I'm just looking at the charts. All right. So this is good enough. We're deep. We'll go ahead and extend it here to these previous highs since it could be bouncing there as resistance. Call it a support, call it a break and retest of resistance. It's kind of really far. The first break and retest was like break, retest, like right there, then it went up. I still think this is worth a shot there, brothers and sisters. So we're going to go ahead and take us here, a little trade here. We're going to take us here, trade here. Here, we're going to here, trade here. Uh, stop loss below. And if it starts to break, then we will get out if anything looks kind of suspicious. I mean, if we have time. Sometimes you don't. Sometimes it's just one huge candle against you straight to the stop loss. And that is one of your stop losses there, kiddos. Do I think this is going to keep going up? Hmm, I don't know. Oh, it's not looking good. Oh, the painful back and forth. I'm going to close right here. I'm just going to say, let's just say... Yeah, that way we don't get our to, to like a situation like we did last time. It could be bouncing right there. So let's just say you know we're breaking the rules here. Let's say instead of it getting to like a full fifty percent profit, it got to like a forty-five percent profit. Right? How much does this say we're in? Does this say here? Let's say instead of a fifty percent winner, forty-five percent winner. And just to be real, we'll just be assholes here. Instead of forty-five percent, let's just say it's a forty percent winner. Right? Obviously more than forty percent. Let's just say with spreads and everything, we'll do times 1.4. All right, 8K. So now we just got to win one more trade than it's to the growth target. And just, just for fun, for shits and giggles, let's see what would have happened. Fucking bitch. Fucking slut. Would have hit the fucking TP. I don't know, 45%. I don't even care. I'm not even upset. I'm not even thinking about it at all right now. I'm moving on to the next pair, on to the next train. And I'm not going to cry about this later. Because I don't take it personally, I'm, I promise I'm just not going to cry. I'm not going to be stressed out about it. I'm not going to tell my girlfriend when she gets home how upset I was. Oh yeah, i got to scroll somewhere random and hit this. Okay, cool. Alright, last trade. Let's be effing vultures. Let's just come and just pick apart anything that moves on the chart. We are looking for the clear trades. We are looking to try some trades, mate. I want a deep thrust. There we go. Oh, nice and deep. All right. Trades like these are great because they give you really clear entries and really clear invalidation zones. Where is the entry? Well, it's at the resistance zone. Where is your invalidation? Well, it's above the resistance zone. Where is your take profit? You just set it one to one. And you decide you take profit after the, after you set the inval. Don't do the take profit first. Do the inval first, then drag the one to one. Because if it's, like say for example, this is going to have like a big move off all the way down to the lows. I mean, if, if you're the dude or the chick that's just going for this little move here, you're going to be in and out so quick. You're going to be a growth target. You're going to book a flight to Cabo on a private jet. And you're just going to, you know, you're not going to care so much. <laughs> or we could lose this trade. <laughs> so before I start talking, I'll, we'll, we'll let this play out first and then see. If it starts to crack above, since we're getting really close to the growth target here, I'll just go ahead and probably close this at like a little, little bit smaller of a loss than what we would otherwise normally take. Um, we'll have to pay attention here in case it, in case she tries to break above. But don't overthink it, you know. If this is resistance, and it's, it's going to go up or down. Alright, so this is not good. It's kind of going sideways, trickling up. If she tries to make a break past the highs, we're going to have to do some emergency management. All right, and we hit the, mm, did we hit the target? Nah, screw it, I'm gonna close there. If 
May, maybe it almost hit, you know, and we'll drag the little TP thing there afterwards. I mean, I guess this is technically, if we're, if we're being super technical, it's a one-to-one, -one, but the spread might not have hit that. Let's say the target was like down here, and we closed at like a 40% gain, right? Wipe the sweat off of our foreheads. Um, we'll just do a 40% gain. We still got to the target. So look at this number, 11162. So 11,162, so we grew a 5K, or sorry, what was this? This is a 1K account, right? 1k account to uh, 11k and I think we only lost one trade why did we only lose one trade because we're keeping it so effing g damn simple just because we're looking at one time frame we're having one type of trade support resistance trade whether it's to bounce that resistance or support or whether it's a break and retest it's still just support resistance trades one to one risk reward ratio 50% risk for 50% potential gain it's just the same old like it's it's pretty boring you know when you really get down to it um so this would have ended up hitting that target <laughs> you would have been having a heart attack here though maybe i don't know maybe you've got balls of steel like me 90 percent of the time every now and then i throw a bitch fit but this would have been like i mean think about it like you would have been past the 10k target there then okay i'm all the way back you back to sitting there at like whatever it was 8k 7k whatever it was then it came down to the t target so that still worked out but i mean Oh, it is what it is. Anyway, so 11,000 grew it from 1k to 11k. That's this is just a simple system. So many people love this because you don't have to really implement hedging. You don't have to do anything really fancy. It's just stop losses and one to one risk reward ratios. I mean, you know, I, I I can't legally guarantee you anything, you know, legally. So, you know, I mean, I'm not a financial services provider and stuff, but you know, that being said, if, if I am to say just for entertainment purposes only and for generalized uh, suggestions is that you can be kind of an idiot and still do this strategy just because it's like, like you saw, you barely do anything. Um, yeah, you just you draw support resistance as you wait for prices to bounce. If you need help doing this, just book another one on one session with me. You know, if you're a course member here in the compounding course, just book another one on one session with me. And I'll help you with doing zone placement, but it's really you're probably just overthinking it. You probably don't really need my help actually, in reality. But um, you know, I'm here to help if you need it. So if you're a compounding course client, then um, just book it there in the course. Whether you whether you just you've already used your one, then you just buy one. They're just like a hundred bucks now. If you're not a compounding course client, what the hell? Become a compounding course client. Click the link in the description. Go to the website and find the compounding course. And then um, click on that so that you can get more info. We're raising the price on it here pretty soon. We're at the beginning of the year. 2023 if you're watching this like a year or two later you're probably gonna you know, already be updated by then but um yeah all right well i'm gonna scratch this for now and we'll go to the next one a nice little 10x on the account and the cool part is this is this is how i got so much money to start compounding larger accounts is i would just take 3k accounts grow them to like 15 20 30k withdraw i would take 1k accounts grow them to like 5 10k withdraw and by withdrawal, I mean I would just internal transfer them to like a master account with the broker I'm using. I use a couple of different brokers for this just to spread assets across multiple brokerages because I don't want to keep all my money in one spot. But you can do this over and over. And then when you get higher capital like me, like starting 50K accounts, 100K accounts, growing those, I just try to double those. That's it. You can start just doing like lower risk and you can start using hedging and stuff. That way you come out and profit almost every single time. It's just, or you could just do this with a larger account. Just keep in mind, if you're risking 50% per trade, when you start the account, you lose the first two trades, that's it. Your account's done. You know, start a 5K account like I did. The first trade, you know, lost 2,500. The next trade lost another, like, 1,200. There was, like, 1K, 1,500 maybe left in the account. And I was like, damn. <laughs> so then you have to start over. But the cool part is, is you can completely blow an account, right? And you can do this, like, multiple times. And if you only like get one account where you take it to the growth target you've made like you know if you started a 1k account you grow to 10k you make 9,000 profit if you grow it to like 11k like you did here it just happened to work out that way you made 10k profit you know if, if you screw up five other accounts well you know yeah you lost 5k there i'm sorry life sucks and it's not fair but you still you, know, you still made a 5k profit because you won like one time where you got the account to the growth target so i don't know do whatever the hell you want to do that's it i'm going to start getting my stuff set up for this trade here and i will see you guys in the next video thank you for watching cheers